Accuracy of eyewitness testimony, misleading information. Misleading information is when information given to a witness after a crime has happened, alters their memory of the crime. This can occur through post-event discussion. The memory of an event may be altered through discussing the event with others or being questioned multiple times. Discussing the event with others can lead to a conformity effect. For example, Gabbert, 2003, showed pairs of participants two different videos of the same event. In one condition of the study, pairs were encouraged to discuss the event before individually recalling what they had witnessed. They found that 71% of witnesses who had discussed the event went on to mistakenly recall items that they'd only acquired during the discussion. Repeat interviewing. Each time an eyewitness is interviewed, there is a possibility that comments from the interviewer will become incorporated into their recollection of events. If an interviewer uses leading questions, this could also alter the individual's memories of the events. This is because leading questions suggest to the witness what answer is desired. For example, asking, was the car red, instead of, what color was the car? Key study. Loftus and Palmer, 1974, looked into the effects of leading questions on eyewitness accuracy. 45 American students were shown films of different traffic accidents. After each film participants were given a questionnaire. These questionnaires contained one critical question containing one of five verbs. The question was, how fast were the cars going when they, blank, each other? The blank contained either the word hit, smashed, collided, bumped or contacted. Findings. Leading question affected responses given. The verb implied information about the speed which systematically affected the participant's memory of the accident. Participants given the verb smashed reported an average speed of 40.8 miles per hour. Meanwhile, participants given the verb contacted reported an average speed of 31.8 miles per hour. However, did the leading question just bias their response to the questionnaire or did it actually cause the information to be altered before it was stored? There was a second procedure to test this. New participants were divided into three groups. They were shown a one-minute video of a car accident and asked questions about speed using different verbs. These verbs were, hit, smash and a control group. One week later, they were invited back and asked 10 questions including the critical question, did you see any broken glass? There was no broken glass, but many of the participants, especially those in the smashed group, reported that there was. This shows that the leading question did alter the participants' memories.